a quick new idea daily from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. Ben Hurst is the head of facilitation and training at the Good Lad Initiative. In the fight against toxic masculinity, Ben works with boys and men to find more ways for them to open up about their needs and fears. He shares what he's learned about the male psyche and how we can challenge what we think men are supposed to be. Boys will be boys, right? That's what they say. It's kind of like a get-out-of-jail-free card for any given situation. When two boys get into a fight in the playground and one of them punches the other one in the face and gives him a black eye, we tell him off, but, you know, boys will be boys. When university students come home really late on a drunken bender and wake everyone up, it's annoying, but it's to be expected because boys will be boys. But what is it that we mean when we say that? The work that I do with the Good Lad Initiative is basically that, talking about masculinity. We work in schools, talking about masculinity and gender equality and involving them in the conversations. In his TED talk back in 2010, Tony Porter spoke about the idea of the collective socialization of men, or what he calls the man box. The man box is this idea which sets out all of the expectations that we have about what boys and men should be. It has things like don't cry, be powerful, be dominant, be a protector, don't show any weakness, don't be like a woman. When we do this activity with boys, it's like something clicks for them and they realize that they've been tricked for their whole lives. They sometimes want to keep some of the things that are in the man box, and that's fine. Some things are not bad, things like being athletic or strong or courageous, those things are fine. But they sometimes say that it feels like they're trapped in a prison and like it's a lot of pressure. We talk about where these ideas come from. We talk about things like movies and James Bond and how he never says no to sex unless he's trying to kill someone. We talk about um, consent and how boys never feel like they have agency to actually give consent in any given situation. We talk about how we view women as the gatekeepers of sex, and we talk about why it's more appropriate to, cr- to punch someone in the face than it is to cry when they embarrass you. We talk about films and TV and where all of these influences come from. And we talk about how if the boys had the choice, they probably wouldn't choose to be what society expects them to be. So how do we solve these issues? Well, based on my work, I would say what we need to do is have conversations which sounds easier than it is sometimes. Boys need spaces to work through these issues based on a conversation around what they think is really important. We need to talk about masculinity. We need to talk about these things free of judgment and give boys safe spaces to explore these topics. We need to talk about where it comes from, how it's learned and inherited, and why we are rewarded for behaving in ways that are inherently negative. The reality is that boys won't just be boys. Boys will be what we teach them to be. So we need to have... So what we need to do is have the tough conversations. We need to talk about masculinity in all of its forms, The men in my life never told me that the patriarchy was shit for everyone. Boys won't just be boys. What boys will be is men. And that is when we will all have an issue. Not all men are violent, but the majority of violent acts are carried out by men. And so it's men's job to resolve these issues. Men need spaces to explore and express their emotions. They know that this man box is limiting and it's scary. They need to be able to opt out of things that are damaging, not just for women, but for themselves. And we can't just have the same conversation that we've been having about masculinity, where we talk about how it's toxic and how bad it is. 
The way we talk to men and boys about masculinity tends to be using a minimum standards approach. We tend to talk to them and say, this is what you have to do to not get in trouble. This is how you don't break the law. This is how you don't rape someone or how you're not labeled as a sexual abuser or a harasser. But what we need to do is move to a, a discussion around positive masculinities. We need to talk about how men can have healthy and fruitful friendships and relationships, sexual or not sexual, romantic or not romantic. We need to move towards a new version of masculinity, one where we celebrate being a man and celebrate all of the good parts of being a man. We need to give men space to do the work. It's a cliche phrase, we say it all the time, but in reality, men need time and help to unpack and unlearn all of those things that they have learned that are harmful and damaging to themselves and to others. And we need to have the conversations. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in London, England. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx London Women. Want to listen to the full talk? Find Ben's talk and more at ted.com slash TEDxShorts. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you next time.